Francis Valtero, and I'm a grade 11 student from San Nicolas III Senior High School. So this video is for educational purposes, so bear with me. In this video, we are going to be talking about communication breakdown and barriers. So what is this communication breakdown? It is a failure to exchange information which causes lack of communication. So when does this occur? This occurs when the receiver didn't understand the message that was sent by the sender. Now, we have four types of communication barrier. Have you guys experienced when you are talking to someone and the people around you are talking too loud and interrupting your conversation? Like that. If yes, that is an actually an example of physical or physiological barrier. It is a natural or environmental condition that acts as a barrier in communication and sending the message from sending to receiver. The other examples are blaring cheeky horns, noise from the construction site, and a loud sound of karaoke. Next is the psychological barriers. It is also called as mental barriers. It is refers to social and personal issues of the speaker towards communicating with others. For instance, you wanted to perform in front of the stage, but you are too shy and not too confident to perform. So you just choose not to speak and just sit down. Other examples are fear, depression, and trauma. Thirdly, we have cultural barriers. It pertains to communication problem encountered by people regarding their intrinsic values, beliefs, and traditions in conflict with others. People's culture affect by the way they communicate and relate to others. For example, in conservative societies like Arabic and African um, countries, greeting opposite gender by shaking hands or hugging is considered as ill manner or even moral crime. But in the Western world, it is common to shake hands while we meet people. Examples are tradition and customs, manners of dressing, and speaking. Lastly, we have the linguistic barrier. It pertains conflicts with regard to language and word meanings. Because words carry denotative and connotative meanings. Sometimes they can cause confusion and misunderstanding. Meaning of words and symbols are varied depending on culture. For example, when you went to your province to pay a visit, wherein they use and speak different language and dialect, different from what you use, and that cause a communication problem that will lead to communication breakdown. Other examples are use of jargon and slang. But we are not yet done, guys, because here in the book says that in 1991, Werderberg gives a similar idea of barrier when he classifies noises into three kinds which is the external, internal, and semantic noise. So, external noises are the sight, sound, and other stimuli that draw people's attention away from intended meaning. Examples, noises from vehicles, singing at the neighborhood, visual aids in front of the classroom, the dog barking, and the sound of an airplane. This is just the same as the physical bar. Second is internal noise. It is are the thoughts and feelings that interfere with meaning. This is same as the psychological barrier. Examples, confrontation with a friend, fear of speaking in front of the class, and racial prejudice. Third, the semantic noise. It is the alternate meanings aroused by a speaker's symbols. This idea means that the word may have another meaning in the minds of the students. This is affected by the language in which they grew and the culture in which they are exposed. This is mixed with cultural barrier and um, linguistic barrier. Examples, incorrect grammar, using excessive technical jargon, using idiomatic expressions. So that's it for this vlog guys. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something in this vlog. Bye!